TikTok has reached 20,000 five months ago. Now it's reaching for 30,000. Well, Hearthstone is way ahead. That was the previous video that ended in a draw, but no more. Unfortunately for Hearthstone, Hearthstone does not have a good reputation and uh, potentially will start sinking while TikTok has a flawless reputation and I have absolutely no problems with it. It's just, uh, you know, Hearthstone technically feels like more content or more interesting to use as long as it's not broken constantly. It could get pretty old and boring and it, I, I just love this. For some reason it just got two views but it's like I'm comparing things that are incomparable so what am I doing right? Uh, people don't even want to click and they didn't want to click on this one uh, resulting in only 28 views across first four episodes until I made this ri ridiculous thumbnail. And well, my channel is growing after all. Uh, so finally, we got something resembling all four videos combined. Like, you must admire how skills improve, right? I just, I just sit here, I'm like, hmm, I love this. And also just my thumbnail making skills improving as well. To some extent, and now I'm like reaching a ceiling, like, how can you beat this? You, you, you can't beat this. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Uh, it's, at some point you, you just hit a ceiling of limitation. Maybe you can add some more uh, cool little uh, emojis in here. But uh, besides that, because it's a little bit clustered when I try to explain what the what the actual extended title is. Like it bleeds out here and it looks kind of ugly. It could be just like two lines. Uh, the... There's plenty of ways to like look, make YouTube itself look better than uh, whatever is displayed here. Like it's a little bit frustrating, and I can't really force it because there's actually limit to how long your title can be and how it appears in different ways. In like subscription box, it looks different as well. Every title, it's kind of weird. And uh, it can even bleed out. You can see it's not finished. <sighs> Unfortunately, for shorts, shorts have a lot more problems than that. So let, let me recap for you guys how many problems YouTube shorts have. By the way, I just found out just now. If you press, press a space bar, you go down. How I find Instead of using arrow keys or something. And if you want to play pause or uh play or pause the video my wife is guess which uh button you have to press the k k for some reason literally p is not not far far off from being there it doesn't do anything all right there's no forward or backwards ab ability to move within the video Unless you have this, and then it still disappears for the most part. Maybe I have to like restart Opera at this point. Let me double check. What would happen if I do it on a video? Yeah, yeah, it disappears. I, I will restart Opera GX, and uh, you'll see I, that I am actually able to move around in the tick in the in this shorts thing, where it's like how. How is this functionality not available? What is happening? How, why are uh, the keys to move around are so far in the corners? As if it's not e even important. In the like, store. I, I can't even like swipe, you know? I can't, I can't just swipe on my screen. What about that? Have you ever thought about that? So... Uh, there's so much functionality that just, like, why is it not here? It doesn't stop there. If you like a short, it goes into your liked videos. It doesn't have its own section, just like it doesn't have its own section in the subscription box. YouTube Shorts is the most pathetic feature I've ever seen. On top of that, 
not only YouTube Shorts are one minute long maximum, but because it lacks so many features, why not just have a YouTube TV oh, mode? A, mad as hell. Speed a YouTube TV mode where you're just watching YouTube videos in uh, your normal screen way, you know? Like, everyone watches YouTube videos that way, so why change it? Just because TikTok did it? You don't have dancing girls here, so people don't have to do the vertical thing anymore. That that was the only reason. It's just people dancing, so vertical. But you don't have to have that anymore. So what is happening, right? There is the the brain deadness of YouTube Shorts is beyond my understanding. They just copied and pasted TikTok, and it's as as fast as possible, and then they forgot about it. But everyone now wants to use it and earn money from this. This is pathetic. I, I can't believe how pathetic this is. They could have just used YouTube as it was uh, and made it autoplay, you know. Just just autoplay some YouTube videos that are shorter than usual. And that's it. And then you can categorize as uh, short videos, long videos, whatever. That's it. That's all you needed to do. And that's what... But they don't c categorize anything whatsoever in a subscription box. Not even, I, I can't even do it. I can't even like select, okay, I want uh, to see shorts in the, the this thing, maybe, or not see the shorts, toggle that. Maybe I want to push uh, some YouTubers out of here so it looks cleaner. When someone uploads, like, I, I want to not press the bell notification button, but like have different subscription levels, you know. I'll check... Uh, if if my favorite YouTubers have released a video and because er, this whole thing becomes a mess if I subscribe to like thousand channels I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore I just don't I can't have no ability to actually do any and this is a two hundred billion dollar company that's gonna become a trillion dollar company out of nowhere YouTube has to die to be honest as a YouTube CEO I just declare war against YouTube which makes absolutely no sense, but it gave me a strike for absolutely no reasons. And honestly, it's it's turning into shit as we speak. But uh, I am frustrated. I'm just that frustrated. And YouTube Shorts just exaggerates, exag exaggerates my frustration and shows off the flaws of YouTube itself and the way YouTube is being managed. Like it's like they have no oh, brains. Yeah. They have no understanding of how to do anything. How to run a website. Like, it's it's Google, though. How, how do they not... F what, are, what are you doing, guys? Google. But Google... How did you not find out uh, a way to give us a dislike button that makes sense? Then just remove it entirely. Oh, you just... Uh, you But you can press it. That's very useful. And because you can press it, there are actual... Uh, extensions that allow you to see the amount of dislikes pr approximated. Very lovely. I mean, now it's just a teaser. It's just a teaser, guys. So, uh, it's something that people talk about, but I, I don't, I don't care about the dislike button. I don't care about neither of these buttons. Uh, because, uh, people rate videos based on their feelings. And do I want to see that? I can see that on my own channel. Thank you very much. And I don't want to see that, actually, in the end. Because uh, uh, people's feelings do not reflect a reality right now. It's it's kind of painful. So that's why dislike button just disappeared. Actually, like, half, half of the things maybe I've described is because it's the people's fault. People exaggerate how important dislike button is. And they have no idea what features YouTube is supposed to implement. Like, you have no idea. I have like 67 features I want to implement. I'm starting to collect 66, I guess. And I will uh, redo my YouTube CEO self-crowning announcement. We have to watch both videos now to 100 hours of watch time in order to take my crown. 
any YouTuber come, can come down and just take my crown, but they're not gonna do that because they're not gonna acknowledge me that I even exist until it's too late. Until I have two million subscribers and then, oh, now you we can talk about you because you are our big boy and I was sucking on toes this whole time to become a YouTuber. The shit is happening on this platform is unbelievable in every single side. You know, every single side has to be taught a lesson at this point. And all, the only thing I have to do is survive, prepare myself to teach them a lesson, and be as good as possible when that starts happening. You know, it will happen. It's inevitable. People are just uh, screwing themselves in the ass by every mistake that they make. And uh, I'm going to come in, swoop in there, and take everything they got for all the mistakes that I've made. All right, so as long as mistakes are being made, I don't have to be popular, you know, that's a mistake that they're making, I don't have to be popular, I will be popular when they will run out of mistakes that they want to make, you know, they will be like, oh, what's the good thing that we can do to this platform, oh, where is that person that wants to do good things, because I don't know how to do good things, I will become popular the moment that happens in their brain, the moment that switch is like, oh, what is the good thing we can do to this platform? That's it. That's all that has to happen. So clearly it's not happening right now. Anyways, enough of the rant. Very cool introduction. Well, technically, you know, technically. Technically, shores deserve to be punished and punched in the face. So I will do that. I have a combat uh, button that if I get to 25 points, shorts loses, you know, but I will al allow TikTok to start the lead, you know, I don't want shorts in the fucking YouTube, YouTube rewind, why is it golden, get the fuck out of here, you don't belong here, but uh, I, I should have gave myself some points, that kind of sucks, because I'm ranting, dude, uh, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna versus these guys, the same way as before, and the rules were, we we're gonna have a few rounds. Uh, maybe we're gonna do a quick round first, just to see how it feels like, and uh, and then we're gonna do well uh, longer rounds. I, I'm not exactly sure. I would have to like rewatch my video, which I don't do that. But the quick round basically, I click faster than usually. You know, if I if there's a if there's a spark, I just click and just move on with my life. Uh, so we're gonna see the sparkling effect of YouTube Shorts versus TikTok. It's gonna be a warm up round, and then we're gonna do a deep dive of uh, trying to find good topics to talk about. See how long I talk about those topics, all that stuff. We will need a, a timer as well. Because uh, uh, timer is going to give us bonus points. Uh, mm, yeah, it, it's it's going to be a little bit complicated, but this should be fine. When making this video, um, uh, I was yet again surprised that TikTok gets defeated. But potentially it happens... Because uh, you get uh, a good scoop of uh, YouTube Shorts, and maybe the algorithm is slightly more attuned, and it knows me better or something. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know what what TikTok does to to fail miserably, but because uh, uh, even just like being three points behind, it's it's a miserable failure. It's like five uh, percent it's not really five percent it sounds like one percent difference which is kind of crazy that it's so small it's kind of weird like what one percent but yeah it is so why am i exaggerating this i don't know man Oh, Andrew Tate still, uh, still exists. We literally bumped into that. 
I have a very special sound for myself. Well, what color is your guy? <laughs> That's about it. That's the only... Uh, the only thing Andrew Tate left for us, man. Nah, it's, it's fine. Being on this list, it's just memes. Obviously. Alright, so the idea of evaluation... Uh, right now we're gonna do the fast clicking. It ends at 15, uh, 1500 seconds. And uh, that's about it. But once we need the timer, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. Uh, there's going to be like bonus points based on how much we talk about these uh, special topics. But let's just uh, get the feeling again, get warmed up. The fast round doesn't matter as much because I still don't know how it works. So we can do it first and uh, see where we go from there. Like, TikTok is actually intuitive. K doesn't do anything. Spacebar uh, pauses and play, and obviously you navigate with arrow keys. Like, what is... Why do they need it to change that? You know, it's it's like... It's like playing Minecraft. And you open a, an inventory with a plus or something. Or, uh, or you have to use... Numb keys to move around or some bullshit like that. It could have been so much worse. Uh, but just like switching out a space bar for a K? I don't get it, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Also, I did mention the most important feature of all time, which TikTok doesn't have. So, you know, the hardcore just copy and paste TikTok. Autoplay feature. Just autoplay me shorts, man. Uh, and only count as views if I actually am on the current tab or something. If you're scared about that part. I don't know, bro. Why is there no autoplay? I get so frustrated. You know? I just want to put this shit in the background sometimes and I have to fucking keep clicking around. When I'm watching TikTok, I'm eating. So YouTube Shorts is gonna just do the same thing? I can put this in the background. It would be kind of nice but no i can't no i have to keep clicking the fucking button what the fuck is this shit so in order to do the speed round i'll go as fast as possible so i'll, I'll only give like 15 seconds to do their intro and if not if, if i'm not interested i'll go to the next one and so i'm gonna try and find as many hooks as possible of like interesting topics but I will not actually in, uh, explore those topics. I'll just see how far I'm going to be pulled into these uh, videos and how many points it's going to extract overall by doing so. And then I met him and had to... I'll show an example. With him ...after he saw all of my weird tweets about him. I'm sorry. Is it Chris Pratt? <laughs> Is it Chris Pratt? Yes, yes it's Chris Pratt! <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's keep going. So just so you know, now that you work at Smosh, mm -hmm. anything is possible. We could and get Harry married. Styles might see this video. Oh, he will see this video. <laughs> I did think of that. I did think of that. Okay. Um. No, okay. This is probably the most irresponsible thing I own. We've all seen these. Silica gel packets. Do not eat. They contain silica dioxide, a material that absorbs moisture really well to keep humidity levels low. But if ingested, it can cause internal blockages. It can also irritate your lungs and your eyes and your skin. Basically, do not what eat it. But what if you want to? Well, my friend Dory, who I've worked with for years, now runs a company called Wask, and they made these. They look exactly... What the fuck? As a woman who is 33, married but not planning to have children, surrounded by a lot of women who are having children, most of whom are staying in the workforce to some extent, I can tell you that even anecdotally, I am at the age where it is completely normalized that women are entering this dynamic. It's not even questioned. Women will go home earlier from work. They will be the ones who know their children. I don't get it. You can see there, there's a mix of shit still being thrown at me for some reason. 
You see that ladder over there? It's been there for 200 years and nobody can move it. Because if anybody does, they might start a war. Let me explain. This is the Church of the Holy... Yeah, okay, thank you. The villain has an evil gold, but is actually quite a nice guy. Okay, let's end this. Dude, what? Are you okay? I have a seat. Can I can I get you anything? Huh? Your arm? I've got some ice in the fridge. You should definitely ice that before it gets any worse. I thought, I thought you were gonna f fight me. Fight you? Why would I want to do that? Look at you. You want me to? Yeah, that's a that's a cool strategy, by the way. Call you can watch this, I think. Your men try to kill me. What? I got shot like eight times. Oh yeah. Oh no. I asked the wrong people. Ah. Huh? Yeah. I uh, I really wanted that watch you have, and I had some some friends that was like, oh, I'll get it for you. And and now they're dead. You just wanted a stupid watch? Yeah. I I can't get one anywhere. Take it. Oh. Th no. 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 Why would I do that? I'm. And I. Uh... Shit spills out, but it's kind of fun. Asian shit. Sonic really needs to stop copying Mario's. So you get the idea. Uh, I'm putting in uh, intense scrutiny every single short I watch. And uh, if I get sucked in every step of the way, I give a point. Ooh, Chrissy, bro. <laughs> I mean that's that's the highlight because it it's only ex it's exclusive content basically for some reason why she can't upload on TikTok I don't know bro or I would not see it you know that's another thing that's why YouTube is a little bit more uh, understanding because I listen to her music constantly you know we got the ding, and uh, that's the final evaluation of shorts. But let's check the TikTok, if I use the same exact thing. Now, clearly it's smaller than it used to be, but again, it's just very unstable how I do this stuff. Uh, let's see it. Now, it would be quite surprising, because like, uh, TikTok has a lot of users and stuff. And I've spent plenty of time already, and they dedicate this whole thing. Again, if TikTok doesn't win, I'll be so disappointed. There's so many reasons to win. Uh, including, you know, you don't want to get the triple middle finger in your face when you're about to get banned. Uh, by you, US government or whatever. Whatever they decide to do. But it's like... Please, please win at least, then, uh, then there's some hope and respect and re reputation to be had. Because then it's like, I'm just going to wait for the next, next big thing, next big social media. And I'm not going to be very excited uh, to stay here, you know. Or I'll just wait for YouTube to actually grow some balls and change a few things for the better. Because I'm sure that's possible. But the most craziest thing you must understand. Now that they have made an initiative of how YouTube Shorts look like. And they have put all this effort. It's very difficult to backtrack or replace uh, this thing with something else. It's just very difficult. It always happens. I mean, uh, is this... Is this... It's some kind of developer paradox where after you have done something you don't want to undo it anymore you just want to keep going forward forever even if it doesn't work developer paradox. I, I i don't i don't uh like this point of view whatsoever you can't just keep going if uh it has fatal flaws or you competitively just weaker uh it's like again building a weak foundation for your future um, it's almost like a, a reason for me to just drop game development because everything just fell apart and I figured out this amazing new principle that I, I must have control over everything and I must be able to change everything. That's the only way I can actually grow. That's the only thing that's certain 
the uncertainty of all of everything that I will have to make dramatic changes potentially even uh f just for simple new features uh if they're big enough if their futures are big enough i have to give them space that they require basically um but the most basic way to get over developer paradox or the problem that it causes is uh to just start from scratch with the higher level of skills you know you you have your prototype it, it turned into a product but to just try again from scratch and see if you can do better you know obviously not everything from scratch just just the thing that you care about the most you have to isolate and search from scratch it's almost like growing a new plant uh you take the seed and you regrow the plant in a different way uh and the most powerful thing is just to plant many many things and uh, help ai grow it basically and ai is gonna build better websites that way because ai is actually gonna test multiple things at once and see which one actually works better overall which features ai giving you f videos to watch is not as powerful as ai building websites or games for that matter kind of uh giving you features to play with and seeing which go which are the most fun which, which most interactive uh gets the best feedback and all that stuff you know now that's what i'm excited that's the ai technology i'm excited about because it fixes all the brain dead nonsense, just washes it away, of uh, just developer, just just developers in general, right? The developer paradoxes and all that crap can be washed away just with AI showing us how it's done, because it literally knows how to build brain, you know, build per perfect patterns, find find perfect solutions to things. Just by testing over and over and over again, and giving us uh, also ability to test, because we uh, the the reason why this AI technology does not exist is because we, as the users, have to also test and help AI understand what works better, and uh, what has to be improved potentially or discarded. So when that happens, everything the internet changes. Everything changes basically. I'm I'm not sure what's gonna happen. To be honest, I don't know if YouTube is gonna survive in the state that it is, in this the state that it's being treated. Of course, it's the most likely survivor. Is just another likely scenario is that not nobody survives the the age of AI basically, uh, except people. We will survive because uh, we made AI. Why AI would be hostile to humans? You can uh, try and try and think about it, but now you're making AI hostile to humans by thinking about it. It's pretty. It's pretty wild stuff. This is the final result, which is significantly higher. By how much? Well, uh, the math tells us sixteen, seventeen percent. Uh, it started off strong as well, and there's a lot of stuff that I liked and would love to talk about as well. It is quite fascinating, I'm not gonna lie. Also, I'm not sure why timer is going up when it's frozen, but yeah, it does that for some... Alright, mystery. It's so weird. Oh, maybe every single minute it goes up because... That's that's the thing. It, programming gets weird when things go from sixty to zero back again. They loop around. So that's my best guess. Anyways, uh, let's uh, plug in the results. See the actual totals. It's pretty ridiculous uh, result, and that's what I would expect and uh, how TikTok feels to me. So if the same thing translates finally 
fi after five rounds, the sixth one actually translates properly. I mean, that's a wonderful celebration of 30,000 when Short's just uh, proven s inferior to TikTok, finally. And there's no recovery from this. If TikTok is better, it's just going to be always better. It allows for more topics, more diversity. Uh, yes, and it pays creators less. So if if TikTok actually is competing against shorts and is not paying creators, what does that tell about the platform? It's just a more compelling platform, despite the most uh, ridiculous advantage of actually getting paid money. Because technically you get more followers, you get more views. Uh, that is kind of the promise, regardless of what you do. Um, you just have to do it the right way. While in shorts, you're probably going to get filtered out most of the time. And you're constrained with that one minute. And people are going to hate you for making shorts because my subscription box is full of shit now. So uh, there's uh, not a lot of compelling reasons to do shorts, actually. Despite the money incentive, uh, you're better off just doing a proper YouTube channel and uh, sending your TikTok followers every now and then to your main main thing if you can actually handle YouTube environment, which you should because YouTube is still generation one. TikTok is still generation zero. TikTok is just a, a, a non-existing playground. You can chill here. It's like a bench. It's not a play. Bench is not a playground. Bench is not that interesting. You just sit here and just watch TikToks. It's uh, it's for disqualified people who have been disqualified from uh, actually having a life. I make YouTube videos out of TikToks. I actually can do something with this bench, so to speak. I can talk to people and be like, okay. I'll make a YouTube video about this, and I, I will say my opinion. I hope you enjoy it. I don't have that many subscribers, but I'm pretty proud of my work. So, uh, that's, how it, uh, that's how I would describe it. The timer did not wind up since last minute. What? I'm confused now completely. Anyways, so my theory it just doesn't work. Ah, <sighs> all right. So uh, now we're getting to the real deal. And again, TikTok is supposed to win easily, just absolutely easily, because we're gonna evaluate more deeply and trying to harvest, actually harvest, not just look at the the things, which I didn't even show you because that's what harvesting is about. Is about showing you guys things that actually matter. And uh, we can actually talk about like ideas that are interesting. And I'm also growing as a person. So you, you could do the same evaluations. There might be different results for you. Um, it would be f fun to actually see stuff like this. Or any content that I make, it would be nice to see similar stuff on other people's channels. It's just not happening because I'm still struggling to exist on YouTube. But I don't care. As long as I'm uh, growing in skills, it doesn't really matter what happens because my perspective just kind of fills in the blank spots of where uh, do I need to see a thousand comments or do I just need to see one comment? So fill in the blanks of like, okay, one comment, I'm just going to praise it as, as a really valuable thing. And uh, for the rest of the day, I was just going to think about it in a thousand ways for example. So, uh, your perspective is actually powerful enough to actually uh, uh, fix whatever happens to your YouTube channel, as long as you don't actually invest money and too much effort into it, then you just get ripped off. YouTube can just rip you off anytime. Rip, YouTube has the power and authority to pick and choose winners. You must understand what you're up against. They're not, they're not good people. They're not good people. They're not, they're not going to let you win if they don't like you. That's as simple as that. And a lot of people hate YouTube for that. But unfortunately, that's the game. It's not the people that decide. Like on TikTok, that's why TikTok seems, you know, appealing. It's a lot of more 
uh, uh, a lot more complicated. Let's put it that way. And mostly it comes down to money. Do you make enough money for YouTube? No, then you're going to be suppressed, unfortunately. If you are controversial, you're going to be too dirty for YouTube, unfortunately. And that has to definitely change and be more open. And if uh, YouTube wants to compete against TikTok and not be completely, uh, you know, replaced with something better, uh, anything is possible. And I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for exploring those possibilities and making it happen as long as it benefits me because I'm a good person. Anyways, let's uh, jump in and talk about stuff that we find on either of these, well, platforms. I don't know. YouTube is a big one. And Shorts is just kind of appendage of YouTube that doesn't really work. I mean, I want to explore and find new channels to watch and that just doesn't do the trick for me i'm not look i never really explored anything through youtube shorts it was never a thing so even if it fails if it fails to do the most meaningful thing it fails to do everything yeah you can show me some cool stuff cool ideas and it would be somewhat of a replacement on of tiktok if something happened the problem is, like, the main feature that YouTube just also forgot to add is the fact that behind these shorts, there's potentially a YouTube channel that I might want to check. And my brain uh, isn't capable of jumping the gap over, unfortunately. It just isn't. I, I should, I would be able to click one button and start watching a full video or something, maybe, or like, just get a, give me a few thumbnails or something from uh, recent videos or recent most popular videos. Then I might click the and watch the full video. I don't know. There has to be dynamic behind this, you know. And obviously, it's very difficult to synchronize the dynamic between the phone and uh, the computer. And it's it is it is complicated. But that's why we need AI to kind of give us solutions and give us ideas. And we also need to talk to each other about it, which is uh, the most difficult task. Communication, no, no one has time for that, or skills or brains, unfortunately. And the moment we will have ability to communicate, it's going to get a lot worse than it currently is. And technically, that's what's happening, and that's technically why... TikTok has been able to put a downward trend on the entire uh, humanity progress, it feels like. Yeah, TikTok was not a good thing. And people actually don't... Uh, outsiders or like people who don't use TikTok, they, they feel like they have enough reasons to hate on it. And unfortunately, that's not the case. It, it's if you mistreat TikTok, then you're not going to get the good stuff if you don't know how to use it. And uh, once you break your TikTok algorithm, it's all downhill from there, because uh, now you don't want to use it, and it it's a good platform, though. And a lot of other people are using it. So the only escape route is watching my videos, or watching someone else watch TikToks? I don't know, man. It's weird. But, yeah, the idea is uh, it was downward trend since 2020. Everyone knows the... The shit started, basically. And uh, for, rightfully so, because, again, we are now able to spread ideas. And at first it's like, oh, it's a pandemic because the ideas are spreading now. It's an inflation. And who knows what's going what's to happen next, am I right? I might know. I might know if I put my brain to work. Yeah, if I work fast enough, I can uh, start predicting the future. It's not an impossible task. It is difficult and might not be necessary. But uh, basically, this just... A new thing gets discovered. All right, And if you don't know what that thing is, uh, you will be completely lost on how valuable that thing actually is. And bad people are going to discard it as if it's not needed for society. And it makes things worse because now we're just going downhill. But we're going downhill in order to implement that thing. And so it's the only thing that shines. You know, it's very difficult for a thing to shine up here when there's other things. You know, but it's not 
uh, we basically putting it in a survival situation where most things that we rely on are just gonna die off and the thing that we discovered at slightly before 2020 uh, right before the peak technically you know YouTube Rewind happens to die at 2019 and now we're expecting YouTube Rewind to show up but something else showed up instead i i'm giving you hints i'm not exactly sure what that thing is it's just i know it's going to be the key to the door to the next next bump in life where you're going to have um, crazy opportunities to grow again right now you just have crazy opportunities to die so i'm like spreading diseases as, as fast as possible because i i don't like other people all right that doesn't mean uh I'm an infectious little fool, I just know what I'm doing. You watching this video, you are immune, because you respect me and I respect you as a viewer. Everyone else, though, they don't deserve to uh, live under the same low, low gravity and low pressure environment, because they can't find me somehow. They're struggling. Or find, find someone else that you would admire, but, like, you have to find a leader. Someone who understands what's going on right now in the world. This is my best representation. And I feel, again, confident, comfortable with this. And uh, no one seems to criticize anything what I do. So, you know, I'm fine with that. No one has opinions. I'm fine with that. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Then that thing, just straight up me. Who knows, right? I don't know. Yeah, the only reason why viruses would make any sense that they would exist is if they are super ideas. All right? And you are already infected with viruses. The only thing that happens is the super idea activates your infection, basically. That's it. You were already infected. And usually people get infected with bad emotions and fear. And that's what viruses do. They just bounce around and just and, uh, activate your infection. Who knows, right? Science has to literally take in every hypothesis out there that appears. And if they're too slow to do that, science is obsolete. And we cannot believe in science whatsoever. Because every, every hypothesis just completely resets science. They have to try and keep up. That's the funny part about science. Uh, unfortunately. This is, I, need, I need this. I need this candy. We just made another candy, boys. Basically, over time, science can get obsolete. Just like a lot of things. Like food. Obsolete over time. Ideas are also food. People have to keep making new ideas. It just never ends. But you also have to find people you trust who are better and better at making ideas. You know, so their skills are not obsolete. Everything has to constantly grow in order to not die almost. It is crazy, bro. To be competitive at very least. Competitive. It's crazy, bro. Always grow. And, and find that perfect way to actually grow indefinitely, play the infinite game, and so on, instead of trying to have uh, uh, weird agendas towards people. Now, we kind of set up a little bit of a background. We're going to be looking for clues as well while we are doing this. So let's see what happens. Let's begin our little uh, investigation in here. If, uh, I'm not going to give bonus points, but I will definitely look uh, through certain type of perspective, because we have primed ourselves to do that. Um, let's go. I can already feel how shitty YouTube shorts are. Oh my god. I can't wait to compare them properly. I actually do not have to 
do anything but switch into the timer mode when I like something or I think something is controversial. This <sighs> to be one of the best it? videos I've seen this entire week. And before we best videos I've seen because I'm a fucking piece of shit. We go into it. You just have to remember if you're in an argument, sometimes reverting back to simplicity is the best piece of shit. Best thing you can do. Look at this video for a great example. You said you're an EMT. You're responding to a health emergency. Biological male. Somebody with a penis. The reason why I uh, hate that this is someone's favorite video is because it's, uh, you know, it's political nonsense. Anything that politics touch basically is uh, inherently nonsensical. Once you figure it out, which doesn't take too long, hopefully. Otherwise, you get sucked into this black hole of politics. Which side do you take on? <laughs> you can't take sides because uh, it's two sides debating one question. And it has an answer. And that answer is uh, fucking doesn't matter. Alright? Unless I'm in a relationship of some kind. And uh, people don't have to know what I'm attracted to. They just don't have to know that. And I don't have to change my appearance right now. Nor anyone should care about their appearance too much. Uh, as long as th that appearance has nothing to do with their skills. That's it. And trying to improve your skills and turn yourself into a different gender is discarding the previous gender you had. So your skills actually reset for no uh, good reason, potentially. And I just not want to associate with these people, whether debate for or against them. I just don't want to do that. So all this political black hole. Uh, I'm trying to be resistant to it, and it's really triggering. The most annoying part is we have to hurry up because I fucking hate YouTube Shorts right now. This is this took a long time to find something to react to, and whatever I'm reacting to, I'm not actually proud of that. Is uh, is having a medical emergency, and they say to you, um, "I think I'm having a miscarriage." Would you would you check them to see if they're having a miscarriage? Would you consider that a possibility for them? No, but that's because some people don't have body parts. Sounds like we've established there are some people who, in principle, can get pregnant. Just, just the fact that it, they just want to want you to play into this game, and you just lose. It's the greatest game to play. The the losing game, the losers game, where both sides are losing. One side cares about some nonsensical thing, and the other side cares about someone else caring about nonsensical thing, trying to defend that nonsensical thing. Uh, yes, it's it looks like effort, it looks like people talking to each other, but in reality, it's absolute cancer that uh, can infect you and, well, apparently what you like about the world. There's uh, better things to like, you know, once you just... Peel, peel that off? What what else do you do? Oh, it just peeled off most of, of the things you like, unfortunately. I don't know, man. I must not get sucked into this. It's pretty dangerous. And it's, uh, you know, it's gonna be ex exaggerated over and over again. And it will become sort of even dangerous to even talk about this stuff. It's best not to. It's best to just live your life. And, nor and in normal situations, you don't have to do any of this, be on any side, because it's uh, completely pointless. Politics is just basically constantly trying to reinvent itself and present itself as kind of a meaningful thing, but now it looks like an absolute garbage fest monstrosity, sucking in more and more people and calling it a community. And then the right wing is just completely uh, blinded by the power that's in store for them. And they're trying to, like, disarm the creature. But that's it's not going to work if you don't disarm it in the correct manner. And I think the correct manner is uh, moving on. Moving on to more important things. 
Freeze, freeze. Who tells him what? Oh yeah, and after I watch my subscription box, uh, videos should be eliminated or just thrown somewhere else. It's just like YouTube is in such an unnatural state. And uh, it's not growing fast enough or changing fast enough. It's it's really a question of what the fuck is inside the black box, right? All right, we got a ding, bada bing, bada boong, and uh, three more clicks because timer hit three hundred. That's is that is the way, guys. One, two, three. We have uh, five hundred and four. Final score. <sighs> I'm gonna pair it with TikTok. I love it. My system has improved, as you can tell, and I don't think it's gonna improve past this point because I don't, I don't see a reason to. Uh, but that—that's the sad times when you when you peak. Also, you might have noticed that one minute videos don't really spark my intentions to talk about anything whatsoever because it's uh when when you're making a tiktok you're not trying to give people the peak you're trying to tell a story and then you want to experience the full ride and actually almost try to predict the future of, because there's uh, there's more questions in the end you can you can put together quite quite something quite a spectacle to speculate and think about or do other things. Uh, emotional roller coaster. I don't know, bro. You almost sometimes want to explain the whole thing and extend it for yourself. But this, this is just, uh, you know, some sizzle puffs in your mouth. What is that? I don't know. It just pops in your mouth and just disappears. Some weird type of candy, bro. I, I I don't feel a thing. Sometimes uh, it gets political, and you should not feel a thing, regardless. And honestly, YouTube Shorts is very good at showing you what's actually not relevant in the world. How did that happen? How is it the opposite of TikTok? Probably the opposite of TikTok is the same fucking way that Hearthstone is the opposite of Elder Scrolls Legends. Elder Scrolls Legends actually tried and did something spectacular by following principles while Hearthstone just happens to be popular. Mm, and they use human power to kind of dictate what has to change, but at the same time they have to feed the humans more content constantly. And uh, it gets overwhelming and very confusing where you just, if you leave a game almost in like a classic state and it just works. It just it works better and uh, it takes it honestly takes a long time to actually sometimes explore a game even like Skyrim has ninety percent unexplored stuff from my perspective. Well, maybe not really. Maybe it's it's more like twenty percent when it comes to game mechanics and actual fun to be had, but uh, it's still ridiculously unexplored considering how much time I can actually put into to try and reach those 20% of areas in the game or experiences I don't know very very interesting stuff and so, I don't think Skyrim is like worth it but like Elder Scrolls Legends right now is just a, a absolute beast because I'm into card games right now. Maybe that's going to change, but it doesn't seem like it's going to change because Hearthstone is better than TikTok. Just so you know what we're actually celebrating. We're celebrating a, a thing that hits third place, regardless of what happens. So, uh, and I barely even noticed that. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely fascinating that there's there is something as powerful and fights back against YouTube, and finally, for the first time in forever, we can see a, a clear difference. Oh, you don't see that? Well, let's watch some TikToks then. Yeah, you must... What you have to understand about political nonsense that we have seen is that right-wingers are more scared than you think. Uh, 
trying to detect ideas and trying to improve themselves, basically. They're more scared than you think. They're not going to com come down to the uh, comment section and actually find something that is actually worth tackling that is their level so they can level up. They're just going to try and constantly win and flex and appear stronger and better than the, the opposite side, which literally blows up problems out of proportion because it's a fuckery, basically. It's a political fuckery. Both sides are on the same team to fuck over your mind. That is their entire purpose. And it's ridiculous. But I guess, you know, your timer is not going up. I'm just slowly realizing how stupid it is. Uh, all right, let's see what TikTok does to my brain. Because I'm so disgusted by shorts. Unbelievable. Literally this this much and uh, I'm already triggered, dude. What if I told you that rabies was one of the reasons that people believed in vampires? It just so happens that in seven Vampires, boys. We're gonna talk about vampires and why people believe in vampires. This is the worst first 10 seconds of TikTok, bro. I can't even survive that without starting to somewhat talk about something, bro. Obviously, no, wait, this is ridiculous, isn't it? This is getting ridiculous. I don't, I don't have to do anything. Just TikTok wins overwhelmingly. I just need to know by how much. We're just gonna do one more round of this. It's gonna overflow, it's gonna hit to our mark. Uh, after this round, one more round and that's it. That's all it will take, guys. Oh, German maps, bro. Exploration time. Actually, we're in the green territory, not blue, but green. And yeah, you do get get to migrate into the goddamn island. Yeah, some people want to go to Germany, and the Scandinavian is pretty cool too. So all these ones, not Iceland though, bro. Isolation land. Uh, what's oh yeah, Switzerland, guys. The most epic place of all time, and then uh, Denmark is pretty good. In terms of all kinds of stats. Wow, th there's such a big difference over here, isn't it? Spain and Portugal or something, right? Uh, this is Greek, this is Italy, right? <laughs> Greek, yeah. The closer you are to Russia, man. And apparently Turkey is also kind of in that category. The funny thing is, Ukraine is a part of Russia somehow. That's some kind of gaslighting. On the on a really high degree, bro. And where is Ukraine, guys? Because this is Belarus. Isn't that crazy? Unless this is not Turkey somehow, and I'm, maybe I'm the idiot actually. The Turkey is like deeper. What? Am I an idiot? Cause, double check, double check. Ah, oh, yeah, it's it's behind completely. So that is, oh my god. You even learn skills, some basic things. Maybe it's because it looks weird and, and Turkey's supposed to be like here and stuff. Yeah, you can see like Russia has a reason to convert Ukraine into something more reasonable because look at a, look at these two countries. They're just this is completely cut off. Even if they are okay living inside their own uh, pile of goo, I mean they're just completely cut off from the rest of the world's economy and stuff. And pr uh, wait, what? What is that three? What do you mean by three? The ultimate number three, boys. 
We may never know what that means. Because it's a green territory and stuff. Three. Is it the, the actual Switzerland? Because now I'm confused. It, it should be there, right? What is What is this country to begin with? That is Slovakia, okay. Yeah, I never really explored uh, stuff like this and... Well, TikTok got me first. And I've been sitting here for a few minutes now. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this war is just fake war. I told you guys, it's a fucking fake war. Russia had all the rights uh, to attack Ukraine and try to convert it back. Because uh, the rest of the world didn't fucking care. Just straight up didn't care. And didn't boost economy enough. And Russia probably feels this difference very, very much. Very much. Like, we, we feel safe in this NATO section. And probably it's, it's kind of NATO's uh, positioning as well that matters. These might, be, might have been like... Uh, the original NATO countries and original European uh, Union countries. Very interesting. There, there's definitely a lot of story just behind this one picture, and it's that that is crazy to me. That is just a cool story. Holding drugs. But, like, how do they know that it was drugs, then? No, I'm just racist at this point. You hold drugs as your poop, you hold your poop, and the drugs just get fully absorbed and whatnot. Which kind of makes sense, if you want to get away from trouble, if that's exactly what's going on. But how do you know, then? Did, did the man told everyone? Because, like, it's impossible, right? And no one says that? Huh. Yeah, like, charges free? How do you know? And what's the point of... Nah, I don't know, it's so stupid. Ride for Hori. He went to Japan and got indoctrinated, boys. Let's hear it. I knew this would happen, dude. I was predicting. He's gonna go to the Japan and gonna get squashed. His perspective, his little tiny brain, American brain, dude. The women there don't have a drop of testosterone in their body. The way that they smile, the way that they talk to you, how high pitched their voice is. It's like, whoa. And it's just so nice. It's just so soothing and pleasant. Like you order something. Oh, okay, okay. Soothing and pleasant, and you, you die inside because that's a lie that they're trying to sell to you. Alright. Hope, hope you fall for it. Hope you fall for their level, basically. Oh, so we and you're like, oh. And you just, and you just, you just want to protect them. Just naturally, you, you, you're, you feel more like a man because you want to protect and you want to provide for her. You, you just want to create that nice environment for this beautiful, feminine woman. And then... You, you realize there, like, the amount of bullshit that you need to put up with, with these women in America, how combative they are, and everything in the culture is steering them away from being feminine. It's like, it's like, no. Well, you can make them more feminine. You don't have to protect them. If they don't want protection. Just, uh, give people what they actually need and not what they want. That is the only strategy, that is the only way that works, guys. <laughs> you have to be be more vigilant. You have to actually detect what people need, not what they want. You're not supposed to please people. But yeah, following feelings is, is fine in that situation. If you can sense the more hidden treasures, that's cool. Uh, normally you need principles or learn principles of how to detect or just have very sophisticated pattern of behavior to be able to detect what people need. But again, uh, the easiest way to do it is just people being unusual. 
All right. So you go to another country or another continent in general, and you see something unusual or a difference. It's cool if if he can talk about it. Uh, but it's now going to sit in, in his brain. He traveled there to figure this idea out, which I, I did not came up with that. I just saw as uh, uh, Asian people as like featureless and not really, well, kind of submissive and kind of like childlike as well. They're trying to like uh, sustain that sort of, uh, I don't know. It's, it's very complicated. It's, it's not even a personnel. It's just a cultural thing, right? To sustain child childlike behavior until it crashes really badly it crashes but it crashes like in every country the same way it's just uh the way we do it it can be different so uh, uh it feels like other more uh more developed countries just like have porn industries or sexualize women ridiculously but even in asia it's the same thing so i don't, I don't know man i don't really see differences it's just different personality of uh, the continent itself i don't really see a difference because i'm able to look from uh, many perspectives and uh, anytime someone gives me something that they think is different just like sneeko here is he thinks he found something i i'm always like ridiculously skeptical because i always find a perspective where it's just well if you look from natives perspective if you understand how their culture works i i haven't even been in asian anywhere i i haven't been anywhere just uk dude just the the pivot the pivot point to earn some money and stuff and still only like touched London and that's it uh, I basically traveled to only two countries uh, in my entire two foreign countries in my entire life which is uh, fascinating now you this it's and yet I still probably know more about most countries than other people who actually actively travel and stuff because you can have the experience but if you don't have the brain to actually digest the experience nothing happens everything just evaporates everything's just air this is the, the cardi b thing you need to be the tip top guy in order to make a woman submit but women are happy to just i mean uh, there's different strategies as i told you if you again what he's talking about tip top guy is a person that's trying to please women please their desire and uh, of of finding that sort of person yes you get better quality women because you have put in the work to actually give them what they want and now you can manipulate them uh because they will feel like their dreams are coming true except you won't be able to hold that dream for very long uh, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's a very interesting thing to think about. Do that in Japan. None of them have their cleavage out. They're not showing too much, like, skin. They dress extremely girly with their dresses and their fingernails. And, like, some of them walk around with cat ears because it's goofy. Why am I putting up with women who want to be men at the same time when you could just go to a different place and find it actually feminine? Well, that's that's a very powerful conclusion. I can't be mad at that. Anyways, that's our time, and it's pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And we got a better result, despite not actually having too many topics to talk about here as well. Like maybe three, barely. Uh, Sneeko kind of just saved my ass at this point. It is still tough. All right, comparing these, still tough. Victory though. Um, I I 
genuinely feel if I if I would be more committed, I would be able to obviously find more stuff on TikTok. And there's more opportunities to do that, right? On YouTube, shorts. Because the videos are too short, there's no real opportunity to get enough material to start working on it or even to just submit to the material as I did right now. I didn't even watch the whole thing until I decided, yes, Nico comes from Japan. Let's let's hear what he has to say. That's a, that's a epic move right there. Because uh, I know it's controversial for me, per, or dramatic, let's put it that way. Dramatic, dramatic is probably a better word than controversial. Uh, all right, that's uh, our first evaluation. Maybe gonna do two more, we'll see. It all depends on the time left and how I feel about it. What I came up with as well is uh, more a knowledge about Apocalypse, right? I'll show you. So, China is uh, invasive, and what they try to do is uh, cause this pandemic. It's kind of warfare at this point. And they wanted to see if uh, U.S. will spread the disease or it will be contained. If the disease is contained, that means <clears throat> uh, uh, U.S. is basically operating just like China, and now China can actually compete with U.S. because China is a closed system. So that's what they try to do. While uh, Russia is uh, I don't know. It, it's just very courageous, but there's there's lack of uh, uh, lack of understanding of things. So there has to be a word, like a stupid type of courage. What is that word? I I like the word reckless. I use it often enough. But let's call it daredevil. That's a cool word. Daredevil. They're, they're trying to pull off a stunt. No one wants a war, but they're just trying to pull off a stunt uh, for who knows what reasons. They will, they will come up with reasons and dreams and shit later, basically. Hope that it works out. The, is it working out right now? For them it's not working out no one's happy about it we did try to defend ukraine and still to this, to this day we have to know and we have to now care about it in the most weird way that's cool i don't think anything is working out just more bubbles are growing faster um uh, so um, it's still a question what exactly is the the daredevil idea. And then I thought about Europe, because that's coming next, guys. Is uh, Splitter. The biggest thing in Europe uh, is either taking over territory or splitting territory. Uh, but you take over in order to split, so that's the end game. Usually, there's more splits than takeovers. Fun enough, because you have such a weird state-like Europe that is trying to unite, but then UK is trying to split from the Union, and it gets weird. It gets so fucking weird to try and make a statement of some kind to try and like escape. Uh, each other's grasp that they don't like and then you have uh, America is still a question mark and it's still a question mark what, what's gonna happen who's gonna split how is is the split gonna happen it's like an earthquake basically uh, and it has to be very toxic to the rest of the world some kind of epic split basically Impacting the, the the entire world, so that is uh, quite a question to try and figure out. 
Uh, I didn't know how powerful it was, but putting things within reach where I have to actually like click. Wait, what? No, My I have to click every hell, single time. All thanks. I cannot choose whether to have comments displayed or not. Technically, uh, that that one click still creates a barrier of entry where I can just speak very quickly. But um, it is what it is. I'll start clicking, but it looks so fucking ugly, bro. Well, they did renew the design. It used to be even worse. Even worse, bro. It's weird that they have to, like, slide out of place. But yeah, there's not that much space. Alright, I'm, I'm not gonna shit on this. Because that, that's what, how, what I would do, to be honest. Versus TikTok being off-center and all that shit. Alright. But let's not forget, if I like something, to double-check the comment section. Maybe that's uh, gonna do something. Because, uh, you know, politeness gets thrown out there, and uh, it makes you question what that definition is versus niceness, which is American way. Just to be nice. Polite is... Uh, toxic politeness is, as you know, Invasive. Invasive. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, but uh, toxic niceness is uh, self-centered, right? Very interesting stuff. Damn, I needed a lot of resting, dude. I don't know how many hours fucking I slept. There's a uh, time discarded. What? 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 Oh, cleared? This is me sleeping. This is me sleeping. Three times. 15.30? Jesus Christ. That's 10 hours. That's at 10 hours in total. <laughs> Technically, it's still not crazy, right? 10 hours? Yeah, yeah. No fappers, man. I'm not one of them. And I still sleep kind of normally, but I have to sleep whenever I feel like. Uh, that's that's the only drawback. Oh, I eat whenever I feel like, and I sleep whenever I feel like. And I do things whenever I feel like. It's the worst thing. I'm the hardest piece of... A human being to ever be enslaved, because I have been doing whatever I want for the past plenty of years, let's put it that way. And I think I'm the most productive as i ever been. You're not supposed to follow any routines or anything. Because that just fucks you up, man. You can follow routines if you like other people, you know. If you want to synchronize with other people. Uh, and it's still kind of difficult to do that. Uh, let's see how this works out. And he's suffering from being a total worker. And this might be the reason you're feeling so burned out too. Now, Jim's typical day starts with waking up early because he has a lot to get done. The key part is you might be feeling burnt out too. What does that mean, burnt out? I don't, I don't know, man. Burnt out is a... You wasted all your resources of whatever you're trying to do and achieve in your life. Uh, because there's more to life than just whatever you have been doing. That's a burnout. Done. Immediately, he reaches for his phone to put out any fires. Next, he goes on to meditate for exactly 10 minutes, eats a light breakfast, and then hits the gym hard. Jim then bikes to work while listening to a podcast to maximize the time spent traveling. But at work, he spends the entire day, above all, trying to optimize his productivity. Occasionally, Jim does take a break, but only because doing so could improve his productivity. Another uh, synonymous word to burnout is, oh, I'm not having fun anymore with whatever I'm doing, which is, uh, oh, congratulations. Uh, 
uh, you're not improving fast enough. You can still improve and uh, kind of do a very, very much the same thing. I'm, I haven't changed. Nobody fucking knew came out, came into my life. I have been sitting next to my computer for as long as, uh, as long as humanity have ever existed to me personally. As long as I had a computer to begin with. And uh, slowly kind of friends and schoolwork or obligations have evaporated. And now I'm all alone as if I'm uh, living in a space adventure. I mean, it's very exciting, guys. Uh, but I'm still not burnt out. Not, or not having fun. It's just I'm confused now. I guess uh, that's some kind of... Why did I not pause the timer here? Oh my god, I'm such a loser. I'm sorry, guys. I sabotaged shorts. I'll give them a point. That's all I can do. Free point. Let's continue this. You don't need to know, alright? You don't need to know what happens. Total worker, everything revolves around work, but like, who does that? Losing money? Mm -hmm. They lost billions of dollars. Instantly. Wall Street started panicking. And so then they realized, these Redditors realized they can do this, so they started doing with other stocks, like movie theater stocks. And so then this app called Robinhood. Robinhood is supposed to be steal from the rich, give to the poor. Instead, they are protecting all these hedge fund people. So they're stopping all the sale of these stocks these Redditors all get excited about. Google removed over 100,000 one-star reviews from their app store. Didn't Elon tweet that too? He'll tweet something and it'll make something spike. All these billionaire Wall Street people have been manipulating the stock market. Now, regular folks on Reddit are starting to do the exact same thing and they're making millions what? of dollars. Millions of dollars. These red kind of weird revenge, but nothing too excited, nothing too exciting. Because uh, if you start stealing from the rich, you often become rich and just move on with your life. And nobody actually uh, gets a win win situation there. I mean, just, just because rich people get to suffer doesn't mean anyone else wins in that regard. Because now there's just more enslavers of humanity. More people with money that can uh, uh, purchase things from you, purchase services, and just uh, hope that their money is good enough to, you know, uh, make you work for it. <sighs> Nothing solves a problem. But uh, these people can deceive themselves. But they're doing progress. I love that. Yeah, I mean, it gets close. But not close enough. I could, like, stretch limits on what to talk about. And it's... It's not... <sighs> Like, I saw a webcam thing, and it's just, it's very personal stuff. It makes me think about personal stuff. Especially when you see uh, the music stuff that you like. Celebrities. Like, like they, they can't give you anything interesting. There's Charlie Puth giving you the same thing of how he makes music out of trash sounds. Out it's so repetitive and stupid. Which bumps down the score significantly since last evaluation. I don't know how that happened. Maybe it's because I'm an idiot and I don't know how to fucking freeze things yet. That's not good. It's been such a long time I even forgot that Lithuanians exist exclusively on TikTok. But I, I've not seen a Lithuanian TikTok for, for, for a month. I don't know, man. It has been so long. I like phased out. This is the first one I've seen in 
in forever and it I don't I don't care about it I mean we're all suffering from cancer and poverty and stuff it is what it is guys forum tells us oh whoa, whoa, what the Why fuck don't fucking <sighs> still my mouse wheel the most evil thing I don't know if I can disable it or something Oh, uh, what the fuck is happening? Why does it take so long to change a setting, bro? Also, there isn't... Oh my god, what is this? This is unbelievable. The windows are lagging right now, like never before. What the fuck is this? Anyways, interruption. Sorry about that. Yet again, I'm, I'm bad at freezing. But what this guy says, it's pretty fucking uh, enlightening as well. Have contributed nothing here, so the question becomes... Yeah, like the wealthy people are not contributing anything, they're just buying up assets with their loans that are not taxable somehow it's it's such a weird thing to tr even try to explain without visuals like that that's just impossible i have my visual system so uh, but i don't understand whatsoever it just seems like they just take loans and they buy assets because they can avoid taxes that way and, uh, well, the, the assets grow in value because uh, they create scarcity. Uh, they buy up homes. Uh, so people people think the, the price is rising because they Or you can raise the prices altogether, collectively. Because people will have a less lesser ability to actually buy those homes back. It's such a... It's such a corrupted system, basically. Allowing people to have assets without actually producing value with those assets. I think that's the most uh, disgusting part about it. Like, you're not supposed to have things. You're not supposed to have one million pens and not actually use those pens and then pretend that, uh, oh, those pens are, those pens have tremendous amount of value for society. You know, just because you have them and they have value because people want to buy those pens. Eventually people will figure out how to take those pens away from you without getting in trouble. It's, it's quite a middle finger where you just uh, shut down the tap. You know, there's this uh, flow of stuff and you shut it down and you just say, all right, you have to pay $5 for twice the size or whatever. Now you're basically in control of this whole thing. And uh, in, in that sense, you're not actually producing any value to society. You actually have blockage to that value. And that's how bubbles grow, baby. Bubbles and inflation and all this, uh, you know, corrupted uh, behavior from rich people trying to get richer regardless just because uh, you know that's the meta game you know the game the game of earning money once you figure out a scam you just roll with it indefinitely where does the value come from well we should all know by now that inflation makes prices go up right so let's just you know for argument's sake say that the price of bread were to roughly double what changed there i mean the bread didn't change it's the same amount of butter the same amount of flour it fills your belly just as much as it always did so what changed is the amount of time it takes you to earn enough money to buy the bread with the bread isn't worth twice as much your time your energy your effort your labor your life is worth half as much as it used and that's pretty fucking fascinating like why 
why is your life worth half as much? Because again, there's more gatekeepers, and when they collude together, they can raise the prices as much as they feel they can get away with, uh, ba based on their comp. Uh, I mean, it's not confidence anymore. It's literally courage, mixed with confidence. Almost, it's uh, the most toxic combination of uh, being the government and controlling the markets. You know, and once these forces combine together, I mean, the war begins. The war uh, of uh, two elements versus the other two elements. It so feels like, you know, because uh, fire and wind has combined forces against something. Uh, and there is going to be resistance called socialism and communism the ultimate resistance basically people who build communities and people who build society will be offended because their resources are being taken away for no good reason you know so uh that is the scheme boys they whenever they set the prices whenever they feel like they have the full control of setting the prices the game is now rigged and something has to be done about it. So in a way, basically government allows rich people to slowly combine forces by loaning money and avoiding taxes. Allowing them to avoid taxes. It's just literally uh, them leeching off government power and just uh, creating uh, an arch nemesis to the rest of the world, to the rest of the poor people world, you know, uh, who are not that much interested in money and power. Uh, now, I, the question is, how do you fix this situation? Well, I don't know. It's, uh, it's remarkably complicated and kind of new. It's like a double joker play versus double wild card defense. This tickled my, uh, you know, idea of, actually, like, like, GDP, like, you must understand, it's so weird, Americans are making so much money, right? No, they're not. No, they're not. They're just borrowing money from fucking Japan and other countries. They're not making money, which is crazy. And they think about GDP and all this stuff that America basically has. They basically figured out a, a scam, a way to print money, borrow money, all these fucking stupid scams that um, that money has to offer, basically. They figured it out. They hacked the system in many, many ways. Except the fact that they think they can get away with that, that, that one's not going to work. There's like, a, again, tr $31 trillion of debt. Why people are investing or giving America their money? What do they think they're going to get from this? I don't know, bro. It seems like they, they're feeding confidence to this bubble, uh, to this uh, hacker th hackathon, basically. And we still get content out of it, but slowly it turns into, well, this. Boyfriends? Yeah. yeah. No. Let's go find you. Yeah. Yeah, sure. What's your type? Mm, rich. Rich. <laughs> oh, my boy behind you is kind of rich. Yo, my boy. What's good? What's your name? Uh, Ahmed. What's Ahmed. up? She thinks you're a 9 out of 10. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she thinks you're a 9 out of 10. Really? I swear to you, huh? And in both situations, it's like, I'm going to abuse him for him being rich, and I, I'm going to abuse her for, you know, sticking up to it. Yeah, and it's it's so weird. That was my doctor. Oh my god. I still didn't fucking didn't freeze, man. I'm an I'm an idiot. I don't know if anything counts anymore because I'm such an idiot. I, unbelievable. I'm sorry, guys. Normal people. Switch.
I have to vocally switch myself. There's an estimated 390 million guns in circulation in the US in 2018. There's currently around 334 million people. By the way, video games are not violent. <laughs> Whoa. Um, unfortunately, the rest of the world does not play violent video games as much. I mean, I would be scared to give Lithuanians guns, unfortunately. I would be scared to give them guns. I don't know what, I don't know what would happen. The world would be a different place if, if Eastern Europe had guns. All right, I would be scared to go outside. But it probably would be apocalyptical fucking place. Uh, but let's let's continue. Uh, yeah, I mean there are, there are places with guns and there are places with violent video games. But the idea is not that. It's a combination of everything. And it's the question of will this video even even try and hint at what the fuck is going on? What is going on? And the greatest thing of all time is, again, hacking that happens in U.S. I don't know what that means. Sexuality, power creeping, and mostly silencing. I think, yeah, power creeping is, uh, is the worst one, because U.S. people feel like they're on top of the world, but if they're in the sinkhole, they just still want to grab their power, basically. Soul-stealing. Let's go. It doesn't even compare. Like, I wanted a comparison of uh, how it changed over time, right? So, last three years, right now? Oh, okay. I can do the math for you guys. Uh, so, April 21st is four months. You basically multiply this by four. And what do you, what do you get? What kind of projection? Same. Same. Nothing's changing. Why am I so quick to attack uh, video games? Uh, again, there, there's a, a... US has a culture of very different cultures. Also, Oh, it also 2020. All right, uh, 2020 happened. So it's it's not just that. It's it's like an ecosystem of bad things, especially 2020, where everything every bad thing just comes alive. If you have a gun in your closet, basically it comes alive. It drilled a hole in your brain and wants to be used. Basically, everything becomes more useful when it inflates. You know when the when every single value inflates, uh, you feel more useful when when you're being violent, when you want to take back your money, basically, uh, or, or rob a store. You feel like uh, the things became more valuable for you to do that. But the funny thing is, again, rich people are going to sit in their thrones and they're just going to see the world burn, essentially. If we're gonna make too many mistakes, we have to be very careful of what what violent moves we have to make to counter the violence that has been projected onto us. More than 600 mass shootings. That's almost two a day on average. The Gun Violence Archive defines a mass shooting as an incident in which four or more people are injured or killed. There was an estimated 390 million guns in circulation in the US in 2018. There's currently around 334 million people in the country. That's more guns than people. Data shows... More guns than people? 120%? Uh, so that's that. Is that the... That, that is so weird, man. Again, they, these things come alive. It's, uh, do, do they compare countries as well? I don't know. Data shows more than 50 people are killed each day by a firearm in the US. The National Rifle Association is the most powerful gun lobby in the United States. And over the last several election cycles, it and other organizations have consistently spent more on pro-gun rights messaging than their rivals in the gun control lobby.
That's weird. It didn't even spike. What? Is that true? How, how, how could it possibly not spike? But it's, I don't know. Uh, right wing always has the money. I don't know. There have been more mash. Yeah, Battle Royale, of course. See, I'm not the only person who fucking creates this uh, video game mentality. And again, video games are violent, and the violence is always lags, all right? It's, it's not like old people are willingly playing video games and becoming less violent. We're just, we're just talking about video games as if it has been around for many years no they they keep getting better and better and the uh, as if like programming programming of the person becomes better and better so it becomes uh more and more violent so you just sit there and play your video game until you have to face the real world and then you don't know what the, what else to do but to recreate your stupid fucking brain matter that has that has nothing to offer to society, you know? It's pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, moving on. TikTok, guys. Do you like TikTok? I love TikTok. Mass shooting, let's go! 30,000! Boom! Ah, <sighs> what a crazy... thing to... mark TikTok hitting... oh... Thank, thank you, thank you, America. You did, you did a good job. Thirty thousand. Should I uh, create some kind of special little thing? I don't do that right now. It is what it is. <sighs> wow. Actually, for some reason, it's a note. In technical, we all know the reason, but that reason has faded away. I mean, TikTok came alive. Uh, because I'm open-minded, I, I started adopting TikTok and slowly figure out how how can I adopt it even further. And, well, because I became a big person myself, I, I feel ashamed for people who don't actually care about this platform at all. It's, like, kind of weird. And you have to fucking... Stand up for yourself. If you like this video, clearly you care about TikTok and you got to stand up for the idea that this shit exists and it's not just better than Twitter, but uh, it's literally an alternative to YouTube or the next generation of uh, up society even because the greatest platform dictates how society works. That is it, bro. Oh yeah, it's already time already. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. I mean, it's still kind of just barely. Uh, but it, it seems like it's the same ratio. Like again, if I put them together, uh, I get 13% versus... Twelve percent, very similar stuff. All right, do we have room for one more? And I don't think so. Well, fuck it, man. Why not? Maybe another speed round. I don't know. Speed round where I will try not to talk too much. Basically, it's kind of like a mix of both worlds to be able to squeeze in. 15 minutes of content talking about mass shootings because i don't want any ads before we start today's video let's talk about my sponsor i gotta say thank you to you guys for being patient with the ad reads a little inside information here of how dumb i am they pay you based on like uh, 60 seconds or 90 second ad right but they give you all this information so it's impossible to deliver all this information that they want they're like 
tell them all these things in three seconds. But like, I can't do that. Well, we're only paying you three seconds. So that's why they always go out longer. I mean, I could just cut it. But then I feel like, well, you're paying me. I should at least deliver. But then again, maybe I'm just a pushover. I'm so Well, uh, the reality is the system has to keep improving so people stop complaining. My personal favorite improvement is to have uh, ads somewhere not in the middle of the video, but somewhere special, in a special place. Uh, maybe, maybe you can force ads to unsuspecting people if, if they don't know, like, some kind of fucking uh, symbolism in your videos or something, or it's gonna contain an ad. So insiders know that they'll be attacked by an ad out of nowhere. Well, everyone, uh, everyone else might might not not even want to click on the wit. I don't know, man. But I think the special special treatment of like, uh, if you really want to support me, here's all the ads, all the things that try to sponsor me, basically. And you're supposed to sit on a throne as a YouTuber, not uh not be uh possessed by the amount of money you can get no you have to keep your reputation intact as well it's a very important trade-off but it's so complicated all right it's very complicated why do i connect this with mass shootings is because greed guys greed for money and power it never ends and that's technically what fuels the the double joker effect like that's, I ha we have to resist as society and community system basically. We have to resist against people being greedy for money and power, just straight up. How do we do that? Uh, that's a story for another day, guys. So, the other connection you can make to mass shooting is the the growing frustration, and someone has to you know flip flip their cards because they don't know what to do the solutions are not there in the air pewdiepie's videos are completely pointless and filled with sponsorships and him hoping that uh, enough people will still fucking care and pay for this fucking luxurious life uh that he still has some reputation left of course of course you do but your life is not over yet Mr. PewDiePie as well as anyone else, but we have to treat PewDiePie as the royalty that he is. Similarly how people are trying to cancel Mr. Beast, you know, we must not let PewDiePie just get away with a bag. That would be an epic fail. He has to somehow convince us that he made history on YouTube by being the most subscribed, that he made something actually impactful and did not just uh uh ga given us a, a huge trade-off that did not benefit us whatsoever and another hint let's not forget that he's from europe so his mindset is completely different from a regular american mindset all right when it comes to so it's it's a weird one it's a weird one he's come from the cold cold places of europe where the nights are very long, or sometimes eternal nights, man. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things to unpack when it comes to this big boy. But letting him escape with a bag, as long as he's in Japan in some fucking stupid place, maybe it makes sense. But it almost like it's a, it just adds salt to the injury as well. And why would I not let him live a normal life? Because I don't live a normal life. I'm so related to PewDiePie. I have so much power myself. I just don't know where to spend it, guys. And technically, you know, uh, the double Joker play is being made right now. And now we're going to play the wild cards in the apocalypse. How about that? Who knows what's going to happen? But uh, I'm starting to predict things, and I can't wait for them to get more and more clear as we go forward 
in time. Technically, I won't be able to even predict the next weeks of things. The thing is, uh, but the thing is, it's not about predicting that matters. It's about being uh, being able to catch the news. Because predicting is very, very difficult. For me, I just have like slight advantage, slight confidence. But the moment I wake up, it's a new day and I have to re-predict the future and realign myself with what the news have said, you know. And slowly I get faster and faster while a lot of people actually live in the past. In such a distant past, you wouldn't even be able to comprehend. You wouldn't even be able to comprehend. So sometimes predicting the future simply means you're not being dragged into the past by other people, you know. Or you treat the past in a completely different way because you have a new perspective because you live in the future. So people who are stuck in the past and who still would praise PewDiePie for some weird reason. I looked into the past and it looks fucking ugly. So you have to fucking explain a lot of things to me right now. Anyways, moving on. What the fuck? A bad signal, boys. Now nah, this this real bro. I actually see it. Shine it in the air while it's foggy. Yeah, you go. Be wrong because for some reason I'm getting recommended so many gun videos now. YouTube, what what are you doing? This is uh, shooting in TikTok, but this this is uh, pro gun rhetoric basically. It's almost like YouTube has identified me as right wing and I'm supposed to own a gun as well. Let's go, baby. Episode where there's a magical button that will change a one to a zero, collapsing the whole civilization. As long as we have faith in the dollar being worth one dollar, it'll always be worth one dollar. But that's not exactly true. And I found data that looks as far back as the 1600s to prove it. And here's exactly what happened. The value of the dollar has plummeted in the last 400 years, specifically in the year 1913, which is when we created the Federal Reserve and the central banking system. Uh, there's actually, again, a solution, I believe. We just create our own money with the money that we have. We can use pennies to pay for things. How is that possible? Uh, it, it's another long story. But first, it it has to, you know, be slowly integrated into society. Where first, we just collect pennies and make them more more valuable out of nowhere. And then the question is, why the fuck are pennies worth more than a penny? That's when it begins to fucking destroy the monetary system. It's it's crazy, right? So, so there's still going to be unsuspecting people who think, well, well, penny is still worth a penny, right? And uh, you just rip them off by taking their pennies as if uh, it could be even worth 10. 10 unsuspecting people who do not understand that there's an inflation for pennies. And why would this happen? Because we can rip off rich people that way. Anything that, that, that is a tool to ri rip off rich people probably works. Now it's more and more likely that it actually works. Can you imagine that? One, two, three, four. Better than before, but not good enough. Speed round for shorts completed. I love that. I love the penny idea. The penny that can rule the world, boys. You can. Because the, the markets are also going to be clueless. And they're going to give you pennies for everything you spend. But you have to play with the physical stuff. And you have to be able to hide those pennies somewhere that you collect. So, uh, you know, there's uh, tools never... 100% easy to use and 100% uh, intuitive. You have to learn new skills to be able to actually make the penny the ruler of the world and not the dollar anymore. Penny.
And it could be any penny from any place in the world, to be honest, because it's a physical thing that's pretty cool to have. And uh, pretty difficult to actually have a lot of them. See, that's another interesting thing. You can't have a cartwheel of pennies. That, that would make you rich, but that would make you burdened as well. It's almost like having bottle caps because we live in the apocalypse. So I have to say one last thing. Bottle cap. All right. These people in working in Bethesda, I don't know. They're on a completely next level wavelength uh, of understanding reality. I'm not going to lie. This, uh, this is some crazy shit. Technically, it's just out of luck they created the almighty bottle cap but it is a question like what dollars don't work and technically no there had to be a switch of some kind of just somewhat rare material it's just a, such a perfect you know replacement but right now we are living in apocalypse and we need exactly the same thing that's still circulating around that we can actually get and universally agree that it's valuable, you know, and if people ask for pennies constantly because pennies can be found in other people's pockets, or we can just call them out as assholes who don't carry pennies for some reason, you know, a homeless person would ask for two pennies, would you not give the homeless person two pennies just because you're not carrying enough pennies in your pocket, are you stupid? That sort of attitude can fix the whole system. And I got reminded of that. So that's cool. Uh, in a weird way, because I still... Maybe it's my attitude that does not allow YouTube Shorts to win. Because I definitely have an attitude issue in here. But at the same time, it has been created that way. It has been stacked against me. So I can't possibly have a good attitude because I just don't like Shorts. The way they function none of that so let's uh finish the round clap for you know TikTok and uh see what the number is first of all What's that? ah yes the question mark the question mark that looks like a TikTok logo but i got <laughs> i got duped by myself man uh case if you want to express the cube root of 8, you remove the lower left corner. Once again, the symbol as a whole represents the value that should go in the missing corner. Triangles, boys. The power of triangles. This I much more that. clearly expresses the relationship of all three operations. The definition alone is mildly pleasing, but where it becomes useful is in seeing how the rules for exponentiation logs and radicals are all really the same. The most extreme example might be how, with our current notation, there are six, six distinct ways to express the various inverse operations, and it looks like a complete mess. If you use the triangle of power, all of these operations follow the same basic aesthetic pattern. Admittedly, it looks a little bit weird when your brain has already been trained with the traditional notation, but our brains are really good at picking up on patterns. And in That's kind of cool, too. In this case, once you get used to it a little, you only need to remember one pattern which unlocks all six of these cases. Essentially, any rule that's associated with exponents, logs, and radicals becomes essentially three times faster to learn and to recognize. If you have a pencil and paper, I highly encourage you to just take... Yeah, but how do you make changes in the world, is the question. <laughs> ah. If only, guys. On hold. Courts had to stop running trials. Police dispatchers were having to write down calls on pen and paper. So what's next? Electrical grid? Are you guys going to be ready when that actually happens? Because it's coming at some point. By now you should know that by... It is an interesting thing. Uh, Russian hackers. Russian hackers, the... The ultimate transcendence of Russia, basically. Can they be stopped somehow? I mean, uh, yeah, with war. With straight-up war. Disrupting Russia and stuff like that. I mean, uh... It, it is quite a question. And also, 
we don't care about Russia. That's the, the other problem. We usually don't care about Russia. We probably would out-hack them uh, so many ways, you know. Uh, especially when Russians, I don't think they even suspect what would happen if we were starting to out-hack them to begin with. And what kind of damage we could do. I could just even, like, watch some Russian fucking music videos and I would start hacking their fucking brains out. And who knows what the fuck would happen to Russia. Just just by doing some stupid shit to myself and then the dream world and then it fucking escalates. Who knows how Russia actually operates in the spiritual world? But, uh, I mean, if you're asking for trouble, you're gonna get some. That's, that's the way of life. Unfortunately, like, TikTok website itself does not have functionality to, like, speed the videos up or, uh, say that I don't want to watch these type of videos. I'm not sure why that is the case, like, what's so difficult to just copy and paste programming? I mean, you're running the most important website of society. That's the most offensive thing, not the, that it's somewhat linked to China or whatever. Fuck that shit, bro. I want, I want my buttons, bro. Buttons. Why? So disco lights for anyone with ADHD. The children's neural data is then sent in real time to the teacher's computer. They can quickly assess who's been paying attention and who hasn't. And that's not the only problem because this data is also sent to the parents. But I've heard Guys, we need some uh, mass school shooters. Send them to Asian countries. As quick as possible. Asian parents can be pretty um to bad grades, so I'm sure they'll be fine. However, regardless of how dystopian this may seem, both the teachers and the students themselves said that these headbands have helped them increase concentration, study harder, and ultimately achieve better grades. So the question is, should every school be using these, or is it just too invasive? If you thought your- Invasive is the word. I do agree to Dylan. Absolutely. It's the Asian word we need to learn, guys. Blasted all the dirt. Isn't it so weird that there is that this video is so off, off center? Even though there's this space and you can shrink this significantly, just squeeze it. Uh, and if I want to extend it, I just manually do that. What's the what was this? What's that over here? Some videos actually extend themselves, but you can do it this way and put it from here extended this way i mean questionable any questionable thing on the the biggest thing ever that the internet has ever seen it just boggles my mind you know it's like they have such crazy ass technology and they can't fucking do basic design problems are you fucking kidding me bro makes chairs super convenient, but over time, they can be exhausted if poorly made. Sadly, this was the case with the 14-year-old boy, whose chair's gas chamber built up so much pressure that just sitting on it caused a large explosion that ended up taking his life. What the? Yeah, yeah, new fear unlocked. But honestly, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good thing that those chairs don't fucking work. Because I, I broke my chair, like it's nothing, twice now. And at this point, it's like, just just get a fucking regular chair. It's very difficult to find the exact match. Because you want to adjust it and all that stuff. Um, but it's, um... I mean, you can probably buy like five chairs in the cost of whatever the fuck gaming chair is about. And it's gonna be sturdy. And it's not gonna bother you with all the extra things that you can move around freely or some bullshit like that. Now I'm just sitting in the chair, I'm fine. Maybe I need like an extra cushion and what, what not, which I conveniently had because I had to put it on the actual gaming chair. It is absolutely st stupidly designed thing that you can sell to little fucking kids, basically. And unfortunately, this trend is not going to die anytime soon. In both cases, yeah, I don't see Lithuanian TikTok, which could mean link TikTok. I'll type up. 
We're we're shrinking this down. There's no way we can. Yeah, TikTok is not gonna ha get hit, but this thing got hit significantly, and rightfully so. I don't care about it anymore. Let's continue, please. And finale, three clicks. One, two, three. We win every single time. Congratulations, TikTok. What a wonderful fucking day for, uh, to be to be a thing on a thing. Let me just uh, inflate YouTube shorts until it pops into 1900. And we're going to say goodbye after calculating results. Yeah, this was supposed to be a speed round, kind of. I mean, it has low scores, funny enough. Because I, I didn't pay attention too much? I don't know. I don't know how to fucking describe any of this. Anyways. So, evaluating short... Well, yeah, sure. Shorts. Is it main always? Because it's always... Yeah, it's supposed to be main. 504 into 356 into 363 the final score right now is 337 doing the same thing to tiktok five six nine eight and 380 gives us A value advantage of 4.5%. This 4.5% value advantage. Now, it, it translates into things, alright? If you use it, 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 it kind of raises exponentially, sort of. But, I don't know, 5%, what does that mean of, in terms of value? Does that, does that matter? Basically, it's very difficult to actually tell. It's very difficult. Why would 5% matter? I don't know. I, I still, I, I can't wrap my head around it. Because it's like, you have $100 and then you have $105. But, if you really need dollars and you pay a lot of taxes, the profit is actually quite a lot bigger right and if you can squeeze that five percent into your time i mean uh you you gotta think like just the small advantages in life make a big difference uh and potentially it scales way higher once you're very comfortable with the system and at the same time shorts could go up and down based on whether the algorithm is good or just fed me the best videos it actually has and uh who knows right uh, tiktok has been around and for a long time and they're focusing on, on just that and potentially still improving it well i think youtube just kind of rolled out their shorts and they don't they don't give a fuck bro i don't think they give a fuck from the looks of it i mean it changed the way the comments pop out but again if i just scroll down this could be the most dangerous no the you better s yeah i'm still sp i'm still pressing a spacebar intuitively i can't make this change like what is the stupid why k why k is supposed to pause the video what is about the k what happens if i press k on the real video every day oh look at that spacebar what the what has happened do I have some extensions going on? Am I am I the stupid one here? Is it my fault this whole time? Okay, guy. I, I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. There's something something going on, man. Aliens.